What is up guys, welcome back for the next GOT showcase. Now this one may be a long one because of the team that we're using. We're using Johnny Ricepool's team, our uh, co-creator for the league, of course. And uh, unfortunately there are two teams in the GOT that have Pokemon that are not allowed in OU and Johnny's is one of them. He has a Greninja, which automatically forces me into, pos into a position where I have to use the six other Mons on his team. As you know, it's a seven, a seven Mon draft. So, we have here a sweeper team. This, this is essentially what Johnny's team is. It's a team that's made to spike stack because of Greninja. He has a stealth rocker, or two rather. Uh, I think he has two, does he? Uh, no, he only has Mesprit. Uh, he has Mesprit as a stealth rocker, he has Greninja as a spike stacker, and then he has a bunch of different sweepers. He has Mega Heracross, he has a Salamence, and he has Lucario, which are amazing sweepers. Uh, Mega, sorry, not Mega Ampharos. Regular Ampharos is a lot bulkier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, after testing out this team, it is an insane physical wall. Uh, gets access to Magnet Rise, which is really cool. Uh, so we're running an interesting set, and we have two Trick Room setters as well. So I'm running min, well not min speed, but uh, no speed investment on either Lucario or uh, Heracross. I'm running Silk Scarf on Lucario to boost its uh, E speed without having to take Life Orb recoil, uh, because its HP investment allows it to live things like Psy Shock from Life Orb Latios. Uh, only takes about 75%, which is still a lot, uh, but having that uh, 25 HP left at the end could be crucial. We have a Choice Scarf Salamence, like I said before, Bulky Ampharos, uh, a Max Speed uh, Trick Room uh, Miss Magius, and a Stealth Rock Setter. Uh, uh, Mesprit over here. So let's uh, get into a game. Let's see how fast we can get one. Like I said, this might be a little bit of a longer episode because I have to uh, stall some things out sometimes, but uh, that's just the way it goes. I'm going to say have fun to my opponent, and uh, we're going to get things kicked off right here with a nice little... Uh, I think Mesprit lead is fine. He does have a Mega DNC, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. He also has a Rapid Spinner. He surrounded the Volcarona very, very well. Uh, even a potential Defogger in, uh, in Gliscor, but I doubt it. I think it's more of a stall breaker because this team seems to have a little bit of trouble with stall. Superior deals with it nicely, but other than that... Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's lead off here with, I think... I think Mesprit is fine, honestly, as he leads off with Volcarona. So this is not the best situation for us. Not the worst, though, because we do have uh, a decent switch into this being Salamence. Uh, now, I don't necessarily want to go directly into it. Good news is that I do have a spin blocker, so if I get up Stealth Rocks now, uh, I should be good to go. Also, we should be able to live a hit from Volcarona, right? Let's see, Quiver Dance uh, versus Mesprit. Uh, offensive three attacks. Bug Buzz uh, with our HP investment. Uh, it can knock us out, but it's a roll in our favor, so I might just want to get up Rocks now. Uh, alternatively, I could go into Ampharos and just pull a Volt Switch. That's also an option. He doesn't. He does have a Ground type, but it's weak to Hidden Power Ice. Um, I like the Salamence Switch here, except it's Scarfed, so I'm gonna have to choose a move to lock myself into afterwards. So that's a little bit annoying. I kind of want to keep the Ice Beam though for the Gliscor and for the Superior, so I'm definitely gonna switch out here. He's so gonna go for the Quiver Dance. Uh, now we're not faster than this. He is still faster than us, uh, but he has to deal with a potential Outrage. So. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is just click uh, Earthquake, I think is the safest play, because we do have E-Speed in the back, so I think we're okay. And we have a Focus Sash Miss Magius as well, so we should be fine uh, with Destiny Bond as well. Um, it's slower than this right now, but anyway. Uh, let's just go for the Earthquake, as he takes uh, only 38%, so he's pretty bulky. He goes for the Fiery Dance, only does 41. He does get the Special Attack Boost, though, so the next one might actually even knock us out. I'm assuming he has Roost on this set. I'm just going to go for another EQ, though. We are faster than his Volcarona, which is nice. He goes for a Quiver Dance, and I'm assuming he's going to Roost right here. Um, so there's not much I can do about that, other than... Other than... Uh, I can go into Miss Magius now, sack it to get up a Trick Room and then go into Heracross and fire off a Rock Blast and be faster than everything on his team for a few turns. So that's a possibility. Or I can get up my Rocks first. I would have liked to keep up my, uh, I would have liked to keep my Spin Blocker, but I don't think that's going to be a, uh, an option. Uh, he knows that another Earthquake can take him out. I'm pretty sure he's Roost, so I'm going to pull the switch into Miss Magius here. As he's actually going to go for Fiery Dance, we are going to live on Sash, of course. He's not going to get the boost, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think we have anything that can take this thing on anymore. Uh, let's just see Volcarona versus uh, Lucario. I want to see a Max Attack, Adamant, Silk Scarf, E-Speed. How much is that going to do? It's going to do upwards of 44 to 52. So we might actually be able to still knock it out afterwards. So that's not too bad. Let's go for the uh, let's go for the Shadow Ball. It goes for the Fire Dance, of course. That's fine. He does get the special attack raise from it as well. 
so that's a little bit annoying. Uh, and let me calc uh, Salamence's EQ damage on this. Salamence, um, Choice Scarf, Adamant, because that is what we are. Uh, Earthquake should be doing 53 to 62, so this is definitely a max defense Volcarona right here. Uh, now, I don't know if he has Bug Buzz or not. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Ampharos. I should be able to live a hit uh, because he doesn't have any special attack investment, it seems. I'm going to go for Thunder Wave. Uh, he goes for Hidden Power, uh, and it's super effective. Hidden Power Ground. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have Bug Buzz is the question. I guess you don't have Roost, huh? I misjudged that. I probably should have gone for another EQ then. Um, that's fine, though. Uh, we'll go into... We'll go into Mesprit and test it out. Uh, either way, I'm going to need a crit E-speed at this point, so... Uh, we'll go for the uh, Trick Room here. We'll try to set it up. He goes for the Fiery Dance, just straight knocks us out, gets another boost. He's gotten every single one, and we'll try to knock him out with E-speed, but it's not going to happen, clearly. Uh, this thing is super bulky, as you can see right there. And he's just going to go for Fiery Dance and knock us out, so... That's going to be GG, unfortunately. Uh, we lose to a first-turn Volcarona. Let's move into the next game. We might be able to get three uh, because of it, but... Let's see, uh, Rihanna Salvatore. Okay, we play this guy all the time. Uh, he's got a very threatening team. Uh, looks like we do have a ghost to counter the Mega Metacham, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's also Focus Sash, so Weavile can't knock us out in one hit. That's good, too. So what I want to do here is just lead off with Mesprit. Uh, as he leads off with Weavile, we are Colberberry. So what I'm going to do is uh, go for a U-turn here. If he wants to pursue me, then he is uh, not going to do that much damage, and we are going to get off a free U-turn right here. So we'll see what happens. Knockoff shouldn't be able to take me out because of the Colber Berry, and uh, we'll be able to U-turn out. So that's always nice. Uh, getting up rocks is kind of crucial. I'll be able to do that on Sylveon more than likely. Uh, that's what it's looking like right now. Ice Beam is nice for Garchomp and uh, Zapdos, but I am much more keen on getting off damage on this Weavile right here. So let's see what he does. Uh, he might predict us being Colber. He goes for a knockoff. Uh, it's not able to take us out. He does take the life orb, and we are going to go for the U-turn right here. And I think just go out into um, into Lucario, honestly. Looks like my best play. Uh, that or... Yeah, you know what? Hold on. He would go... He would double into Zap... He would switch out into Zapdos after that, right? So... Let's go into... Um... Yeah, let's go Lucario. Let's threaten him with the E-Speed. I think he's going to want to keep this, because this does a lot of work. Uh, and I think he's going to go into either Garchomp or Zapdos here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a double into something that can deal with either one of them. And I think that would have to be Mesprit, honestly. Uh, Mesprit seems like the best thing. I think it, it can take any hit from Zapdos, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's check. Mesprit uh, with 80 HP versus... Zapdos, the standard physically defensive set. Uh, Thunderbolt, you know, no, 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 I can't. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna pull out a double into Mesprit anyway, uh, because I figured Garchomp would come in anyway. But um, we're gonna get up our rocks right here because they're pretty crucial. Uh, that or I can go for Ice Beam. I think going for Ice Beam is a better play. Because that way, uh, I get off damage first. Uh, his Earthquake can't hit me because of Levitate. And if he is an offensive set, then I'll be able to knock him out with the, with the Ice Beam, which is always nice. So, we'll see what happens. Um, rocks are nice for, uh, of course, for almost killing the Weavile, uh, damaging the Zapdos and the Kiram. But he does have a Defogger and a very good one, something that I have trouble with. He's actually going to go out into Zapdos right away, as we're going to Ice Beam this thing and do 62%, which is really nice. Uh, and I'm assuming he's going to want to go for the... Uh, the roost right here. So I'm going to let him roost up to full. And I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's actually going to go for a Volt Switch and knock us out. Hold on a second. Thunderbolt, bring this to Volt Switch. Uh, 28 to 34. So that shouldn't have knocked us out. He has some special attack investment. That's what that's telling me right there. All right, I'm going to go out into Ms. Magius here. Uh, obviously, I can't uh, knock out the Sylveon. What I'll do is I'll Will-O-Wisp. Uh, and get this thing status and we're gonna conserve our, our focus sash and switch out into uh, Ampharos right here because it can take the hit the best as he goes for the hyper voice uh, doesn't seem to be specs that looks yep that's definitely leftovers and uh, what we'll actually do here is throw out a hidden power ice uh, as he goes for a calm mind okay cool 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 scouting very nice uh, he probably has heal bell so what I'll do is just volt switch out we are slower than Sylveon so that's nice he's gonna go for the, the heal bell right there <coughs> 
We're gonna go for a Volt Switch. And now, I have Iron Tail on Salamence, but that's kind of obvious if I just bring it in. I think what I want to do is Calc um, Sylveon with max HP, max defense, bold, just to see if it can take Heracross's Rock Blast. Mega Heracross with uh, 252 Adamant. Rock Blast is doing 48 to 57, so he can take it, yes. Uh, so I think I am forced into Salamence right here, unfortunately. Now, Iron Tail has a chance to miss, and that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's very scary. But it is a powerful move, uh, and it can definitely hit Garchomp for a lot of damage. So, and I can also just go for a Dragon Claw. That's not a bad play. Because Lucario can always come in and Bullet Punch this thing after, or Heracross can Rock Blast it, whatever. Um, but I am just going to go for the Iron Tail, and we are going to knock out the Sylveon. That's awesome. Get rid of that threat. We do get the Moxie boost off of that. And uh, Zapdos is going to come in. Can Zapdos live this? Zapdos, physically defensive versus... I'm assuming it can because it resists it, but just to make sure. Salamence. Uh, where is it? Choice Scarf. Adamant. Iron Tail at plus one. Only does 20 to 24. That's pathetic. All right, we'll go out into Ampharos right here. We'll let him uh, heal up as he actually just goes for another Volt Switch. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I mean, if Garchomp wants to come in and get up rocks, I'm going to get off a Hidden Power Ice on it. Uh, he actually chooses to go on to Kirim, which is a smart play. He probably thinks I'm still Mega, but I, I mean, he's seen Leftovers, right? So he shouldn't think that. Um, Earth Power can definitely knock me out right here. He doesn't have a Fairy anymore, which means I can spam Outrage against him. So, do I just let him go for the Earth Power? Yeah, I'm going to go for Thunder Wave. He's going to go for Ice Beam, trying to catch my Salamence. He's going to take a Life Orb round right there. And uh, does Weavile knock out Salamence from full? Let's find out. Weavile, Ice Shard, yeah, it does. Okay, so we got to watch out with that. Uh, I can't just lock myself into Outrage. I'm going to have to be very, very careful. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Heracross. And we are going to fire off a Pin Missile, I believe, is my best play. Uh, as it hits pretty much everything on his team, except for the Zapdos, which doesn't really matter. Uh, and he's probably fearing the close combat right now. I could be Scarfed, for all he knows. Um, and I could also be faster than this thing right now if I'm max speed. So let's just go for the Pin Missile, as he actually chooses to stay in. Go for the Ice Beam, very nice play. It takes another 10%. We're going to go for the Pin Missile. It's going to do, I think, almost enough. Uh, no, it's gonna do enough. Awesome. We're able to knock out the Kirim. Okay, so one less threat and uh, Weavile is the only scary thing. Weavile is definitely the most scary thing. Zapdos is gonna come in again to go for a Volt Switch and at this point, uh, if this thing is faster than me, if it goes for a Roost, I'm gonna want to hit it with a Pin Missile, right? He goes for the Heat Wave. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, he does get some leftovers recovery back. Lucario can take this, right? I think so. Zapdos versus Lucario because of our HP investment we're about to see yeah I can definitely take this and pretty well too uh, E speed with a silk scarf though this is the problem is only doing 22 to 27 so even after a sword stance I have a chance not to knock him out he does seem to be a little bit more defensive than most but I mean offensive uh, because of the volt switch so I think he's running a lot more Spatak. I think he's running like uh, probably 252, honestly. So he probably has a lot less HP. Let's say he has uh, 140. Then his speed is doing 24 to 29. Yeah, that can definitely knock him out. Do I really want to risk that right now, though? He still has the Fake Out in the back. He still has the Guard Chomp. I need Miss Magius for the uh, for the Meta Champ, so it can't just lock itself into a High Jump Kick. Well, lock itself. It's never really locked, but. Um, let's go to Miss Magius. I don't have a choice at this point. I need to get off damage on this thing. So we're going to go for a Shadow Ball. He's probably just going to go for a Volt Switch into his uh, Weavile. Good news is if Weavile gets a kill, Lucario comes in and it can actually get a sweep. So I'm going to do a lot of damage to the Zapdos. It's going to go for the Volt Switch. It's going to get a crit, unfortunately. Uh, that doesn't really matter, though. Not at all, because <laughs> Weavile is just going to come in and knock us out. So in comes the Weavile. Um... If I were to go into Lucario right now, could I just straight up win? 
he has to he has to ha be having that in mind like that has to be at the back of his mind that if he goes for a dark move right ha here and i switch into lucario that could be very very bad for him because if my lucario outspeeds his garchomp then it's over uh so i'm just gonna go for a will-o-wisp he's gonna go for a knockoff anyway and he's gonna take the life orb hit we're gonna go into lucario and i think at this point i just want to he's not gonna let this go down because then he loses to salamence and outrage spam uh, i'm assuming he thinks i'm scarfed at this point so i'm gonna go for the close combat i think or is my better play to switch out into salamence i think my better play is to switch out into salamence and go for an outrage knock something out forces weavile back in come back into lucario when it can't hit me go for a swords dance and sweep up the rest of his team because i'm pretty sure metacham goes down to a plus two silk scarf boosted adamant e-speed uh let's check mega metacham mega metacham uh is taking quite a lot it's not a guaranteed kill uh does 88 to 104 that worries me a little bit that definitely worries me but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna switch out into salamence right here on his garchomp all right so we got it right he did switch out into it because he knew that Weavile couldn't go down just yet. And I think we just go for the Outrage because I don't even think defensive Garchomp can take this. Salamence. Uh, let's see. Choice Scarf. Adamant versus Garchomp. Garchomp, Tank Chomp. Outrage is... Okay, so he can take it. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying. Can he knock me out with anything, though? How much is Dragon Tail doing? 70? max uh can i go for dragon claw instead i can i can it is a two hit ko on tank chomp so we could do that um but then we take two rounds and then he's not forced into his weavile at all so we have to go for the outrage crit as we do not get it let's see what he does he is going to click dragon tail and dragon tail us out and now we're going to get dragged out into Lucario. I'm assuming he's going to go for a Dragon Tail again. Which is why I'm actually just going to click Swords Dance. As he goes for Stealth Rocks. Wow. Yo. Did he just give us the game? Like, for real. If I crit that Metacham, this game ends. Insta or if, like, if I get a high roll, this game is over. I'm going to go for the E-Speed, knock out his Garchomp. Now, normally, Metacham would probably be able to 3-hit KO me with Fake Out. But in this scenario, not necessarily because I have a lot of HP investment. So let's see. Let's go for the E-Speed. As he goes for the Fake Out, it only does 17%. He's going to get the flinch. We're not steadfast. We're justified. Uh, we're going to go for the E-Speed. Uh, if he misses a high jump kick, too, that could ensure us the win. I'm assuming he's going to go out into Zapdos because it's probably... Uh, did we see if it was pressure or not? When did Zapdos come in? We went for Iron Tail there. Yeah, it is pressure, so he can't even get off static right now. So, he's probably thinking, okay, what item is he? Is he adamant? And why did he take my fake out so well? Those are probably the thoughts running through his head right about now. So, let's see, uh, let's see what he does. Uh, if he goes for the high jump kick, that's the correct play. We are actually able to knock out the Metacham, so that is a high roll, and I think that's going to be the game. Because Weavile goes down to an E-Speed, and so does Zapdos at 10%. Awesome, Lucario able to pull through in the end. Wow. Yo, why did he go for rocks? That made zero sense. <laughs> what? Like, if anything, you, you click Dragon Tail again there. On a potential swords dance, or a faster ice punch than you, than you can move, or like... Like, that's definitely the play. And then you go into Metacham, you fake out, and you go for high jump kick. That's it. Like, I don't understand that at all. So, we win that one. I'll take it. Gladly. Um, Lucario coming through in the end. I don't know what... Uh, actually, Johnny's nicknames are... <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna bring it up real quick. Hold on. Let me bring up Johnny's sheet. Where is he? Yeah, I think he's in group four. Um, Where is his team? No, that's not him. I think he's group three then. He must be group three. Yeah, there he is. All right, so can I slide this over to the right? Check out Johnny's nicknames, guys. Check out this creativity rate. <laughs> Amazing. So Lucario the Lucario, able to pull through in the end. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, 
leave a comment for me. I haven't uh, I haven't heard from you guys about these uh, these GOT showcases. I want to know what you think about them. So definitely leave me a comment as well down below if you can. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.